I believe all things start in the mind first and then they come into manifestation. It says, what a man thinks about, constantly he becomes. So I thought about becoming a great strength coach. And that led me along this journey to where I am now. I've been training athletes and non-athletes for about 30 years. Started out training myself to increase my performance. And then I started training bodybuilders. From there, I had some champion bodybuilders. But for me, that was easy to increase mass. I didn't think it was a big deal. And it seemed uh, more challenging to increase performance, like jumping speed. It was a science to that. So I was drawing more to that. I've had athletes that come in here were average. And I think it was because mentally they were average. And I got to tell you, their mind states, and they became these super athletes, which is what I dream about every night, is turning everyone a super athlete, everyone I come across. The game is about rebounding, it's about defense, it's about passing, it's about handling, it's about shooting, it's about position. You can't just be a good shooter and consider yourself a good basketball player. I, I like to be I like to be known for someone that, that tries to create a whole package for a player. Uh, when guys come and work with me, I want them to leave knowing that they've done some things that they've never done before get them out of their comfort zone. And I think that's how you challenge guys, whether it be elite high school or college or even pro guys. You know, some of the NBA guys that I work with, I think, I think I challenge them as well. Every day I get on the court, I learn from the guys that I work with. And um, this is my love. This is my passion. I love doing this day in and day out. And I just, uh, I just like to see guys get better. And that's, that's what 94 Field Game is about. My idea is we're trying to build a total athlete, so you, just, you have to have speed and strength training in order to do that. Otherwise, you can be strong, but slow, or be fast, but not strong. And I'm building, again, a total athlete. Initially, when they come in, you do what's called general preparatory work to uh, increase the conditioning of the whole system or increase work capacity. Uh, probably train muscles uh, for high endurance for the work to come later. The pro athletes, for me, the challenge, most of these guys are pretty talented physically and mentally and skills-wise when they walk in the door. The thing for me is to see if I could take them to a whole nother level where they've never been in a short period of time. That's what makes me tick, is change. First of all, when they walk in the door, they enter what I call the ants experience. They no, it no longer matters how they think they're going to come up to my thinking, which is going to the next level. I watch him walk in the door and I can pick up a lot of things about confidence, lack of confidence, and even muscular imbalances by the way they walk are called ambulation technique. So I'm evaluating you from the time you walk in the door. I'm looking in your eyes. I can tell if you're tired and that sort of thing, if you're healthy, whether your vitality is up or down. So I look at all these things. They use these things in Chinese medicine to, what, to find out whether you're in balance or not. So I just take these things and I've applied them to performance. The first thing we do when they come in here before they ever lift is focus on the breath. The breath, it can center you or it can stimulate you based on the breathing pattern. So we focus on these patterns of slowing everything down so that you become calm. If you're in a more receptive radar state, then you can retain all the movements I'm trying to teach you. Your nervous system will retain it in your brain. One of the things we're focusing on is the center for martial arts, which controls and fine motor skills. So the more you energize this, the more you'll be able to control your body and, and movements, move with perfection. I have a general plan for each sport, each athlete, but then I modify it based on like deficiencies I may find, such as imbalances or weaknesses. And then everything is recorded. So every time when you come in here the next time, I'll know how much you did this time, everything's progressive. I've taken the Olympic lifts uh, to build strength and power, and then I've modified some of these for some of the American sports. So instead of doing the full lift, it's a portion of the lift, but still give you that same effect. I've taken from martial arts. Uh, I, I did a lot of studying the martial arts and practices since I was a young kid. And from uh, probably a Hindu wrestler system, the Bulgarian Eastern system. I tried to go out and find the best things that I could in the world to build an athlete and put all these things together 
using things from the Eastern and Western philosophies. I like to train in different environments. So to me, sports is chaotic. If you train in a chaotic situation, you get used to handling this chaos. My attitude towards training is that one, you should enjoy what you're doing, especially if you're a young kid. I try to get them to enjoy training, that it's part of the process, part of your everyday living. It's not a chore. So first of all, enjoy this. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the reps, and enjoy the goals that you set and then reach. What makes a great trainer to me is a person that's patient, but also one that can uh, cause change by uh, forcing it if you have to, and taking them beyond this box that they're usually in. I think you must be a great leader. You must be a person with vision, because you have to see this athlete when they come in the door and the end result of where you want them to be. So to me, that's a vision. To me, uh, being average is not good enough. Only being your best. So that's my job to get them to their best. If I don't do that, then I fail. I don't like failure. I've had failures. I hate the taste of failure. So I try to do everything I can to prepare to reach goals. I want them to set themselves free to change and bind them and realize their potential is far ahead of them, but if you strive, take one step and then another step, you